Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm uh, near Bendigo, Victoria, Australia, and I got a really good tip for a spot to find some awesome gold. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, you guys see all this? This oxidized ironstone all over in there. There's even little arches and everything where the old timers have been digging in and everything. Well, from what I understand, thanks to Mr. Tony Famo. Make sure you go check him out. Uh, Famo59, he gave me this information. He told me where to go. And this is this video is possible because of him. Uh, basically, um, I'm gonna use my Equinox 800 and just detect it around, see if I can find any little nuggets, any little pieces of gold. Um, if we can't find anything, I'm gonna get it up into that oxidized ironstone. I'm gonna chisel some out. We're gonna take it back and we're gonna classify it out. There's no water around here. There might be a little puddle or something. If I can find some, that would be great. And then we can pan it out and get a couple buckets. But let me show you guys the equipment that I brought. So today, I'm bringing the Equinox 800. I'm gonna be using it in gold prospecting mode one or two. I have the little six inch coil for it. I also brought my pin pointer, my Lesh digging knife. I brought my Arbor Fabricating Classifier. It's a quarter inch. Um, I don't know how much use it's gonna get because we don't have any water. I didn't know that there was no water up here. I also got my Garrett Super Sluice signed by Chris from Vogus Prospecting and Pioneer Poly yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and pan over that, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll meet those guys again. And if you haven't checked those guys out, link in the description to their show as well. We had a lot of fun yesterday. I'm meeting up with both of you guys, three different countries, all in one place, playing around in a dredge. Polly almost cut his toe off. Anyway, let's go ahead and start detecting around this uh, oxidized iron stone and see if we can get any signals. All right, I got a signal over here. Ugh. Okay, check this out. I'm in gold prospecting mode one. Right up here on the side. Where is it? I do have a signal right up in here. All right, it's pretty deep. I'm gonna have to dig for this one. This stuff is actually pretty soft. But there, there's something in here giving off a nice signal. I'm gonna keep all that. Okay, so I'm here right at the, pretty much the vein right here. Look at this. Let's go ahead and dig this out. Everything that falls down, we're gonna try to keep it. Like this whole area is just screaming with signals. Can't detect anything with the pinpointer, so we're just gonna set the bucket down here. We're gonna scrape everything off. And we'll take a look at it in a bucket. Okay, so I'm still getting a, a really loud iron signal from in here. See how it's like real soft and buttery? See that? I can see a lot of iron and stuff in there as well. There may be gold, so we're actually gonna go ahead and save that. This is pretty much all of it there that I dug out, but I'm still getting a signal here. And then when I run the detector over this stuff, I'm getting a signal, the same signal as well. So whatever's in here is also in there. We're gonna continue going because there's so much here to look at. I think I'm gonna take the detector over here to this darker red area and just check these walls. And uh, there's some real deep areas here as well. We'll just check around with the metal detector because remember, the old timers didn't have metal detectors like this. And this is just the Equinox 800. There's detectors that are way better specifically for finding gold. But the Equinox 800, it does have a gold prospecting mode and I have the small six inch coil, so it should be good enough to find bigger nuggets. So let's keep looking. All right, so there's a spot that we were digging. There's a signal there and then over here, there's another signal I wanna dig. It's showing that it's not very deep either. So pretty much where that little hole is right there, that's where we're gonna dig next. signals with the pinpointer. It's probably iron, but there may be gold nuggets mixed with it. I'm just gonna beat this up with a pick for a while. It's pretty much this whole area right here 
is just full of signals. I just wanna dig down in here until I don't get any more signals, or at least when I have some signals on the ground where I've been dumping this stuff. Let's just keep chopping at it. All right, well, we did a little bit of chiseling there. Uh, we, we dug out a lot of that. Um, we're still getting a signal. However, what I got in the bucket is also giving the same signal. I think it's a lot of iron in there. But you can see the different veins here. Right down there is a little cave. Um, it's actually pretty deep. We're gonna go take a look at it. I got my detector and my pickaxe. So if we take a look inside, you can see it's been heavily mined, but I guarantee there's more gold in there. Let's take the, uh, the detector in there and see if we can get any signals on the walls in there. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. Well, we got a lot of spiders. A couple flies in here, but wow, look at the wall. Look how mineralized that is. They chased it all the way back into there. It looks like they stopped right about there. But all that stuff right there is ridiculous. Um, even if we don't get any signals with the detector, I'm gonna take some of this stuff home in the bucket and we'll pan it out once we get back to the Airbnb. But hey, you can see the quartz all up in there. See how that quartz, that heavy, heavily oxidized quartz and everything. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swing the detector around a little bit, see if we get any signals with it. Okay, so we got a couple signals. There's one pretty solid signal like right in there. There's another signal like right about there. And there's a couple more, but I'm gonna go ahead and start digging some of these out with the pickaxe. What am I standing on? Some kind of big piece of metal down here. Yeah, I'm gonna start digging at it with the pickaxe and we'll throw it in a bucket and see how we do. So it's like right here, we gotta dig in. pinpointer and see if it'll pick up anything. Nothing. Pinpointer doesn't recognize anything there. Let's keep digging. Right here I wanted to show you guys what I'm grabbing. All this real heavily mineralized stuff. I'm keeping that. I got a spider web hanging. Yeah we're gonna take all this stuff. We'll pan this out as well. That's probably really good. Uh, I could be mistaken. I think I can actually see little pieces of gold and everything right in the quartz. Little tiny pieces. All right, my flashlight just died. So, that sucks. All right, well, I'm sweating a little bit. Got my workout for the day, that's for sure. This is what that stuff looks like in the light here. Just really heavily mineralized quartz, iron, and hopefully some gold in there. I think we gotta crush this stuff up before we try to pan it down though. A lot of this stuff is just real soft. So maybe uh, on the way home, we'll look for a, uh, a little stream or something. And that way we can pan this stuff down while we're in nature. But either way, that was a lot of fun. Whether we find gold or not, I don't care. That was awesome. So if you guys are wondering, um, when you watch this video, I've long been gone from Australia. I'm probably either in Pennsylvania or Colorado when you were watching this. The reason I'm saying is because I know a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, hey, you're in Australia, why don't you come over? I'm already gone, man. At least it isn't really, really hot out today. Today's the first overcast day we've had. Definitely nice to have a break from that heat. It's super hot yesterday. When I was with Chris and Paul yesterday, 
it was like 44 Celsius, which is like 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It was just ridiculous, crazy hot. All right, let's say goodbye to this place. We'll grab the bag, we'll get out of here. All right, check that out. All right, let's get out of here. So I found a little stream here. Uh, water's actually very hard to find. It's so dry here in Victoria, Australia. I haven't been able to find very much water at all in order to pan this stuff out. Let's take a closer look at it before we start panning it. You can see this stuff is awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to bust all this stuff up right now. However, I am gonna classify it down to quarter inch with my Arbor Fabricating classifier here. And we're gonna hold on to these bigger, crazier looking chunks you know, pretty much all of them are like that, but I'm gonna hold on to a couple of them. I'll probably take them back to Colorado with me and we'll smash them up when we get there. And that'll be a separate video. But at least this way, we'll go ahead and classify this stuff down. We'll pan it out and we'll be able to see if there's any gold in it. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be. That's, that is amazing material. It's like red coffee or something. It's all kinds of clay in here. I'm gonna hold on to this stuff. No way! Oh wow! I'm not even down to the end yet and I'm getting flakes all over the place. Whoa! All right. Um, actually I don't even have a snuffer bottle with me. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff up to one corner, dump the rest out, and then just process all of it in one shot and I'll show you guys the pan when it's done. Holy cow. Whoa! Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, the sun's starting to go down. I'm gonna go ahead and process the rest of this stuff. All right, I'm down to the end here. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm just gonna go ahead and process the rest of it, the end of it. All right, we're down at the end here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera over and spin it. I gotta jump across the creek again. Man, the horse flies are crazy out here. All right, let's go ahead and spin this around and we'll see what we got here together. I'm really excited because that first, just in that first time I classified, I saw a couple flakes and that was just a small amount I'm getting around to the end here no way whoa no way look up here is that I hope that's in focus this is all gold up here I gotta get my other lens all this is gold these are chunky pieces too look at this they're the rough little pieces of gold. It makes a sound when I drop it. These are little pickers. Dude, that is an awesome spot. That is the best spot I've ever prospected, period. And that's only one small bucket over there. I cannot believe it. That is, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little better. I'm gonna take it back to the Airbnb. We'll get the different lens and we'll look at the stuff up close. Cause this is like, these are little pieces of reef gold. All wiry and rough little pieces, chunky pieces. And that's not even counting this stuff here. Like I'm gonna take some of these back with me. Look at this. They're just these big, disgusting, chunky. This is like the real deal gold ore right there. Look at it, it's all quartz. 
probably grab a handful of these and take them with me. All right, I guess that's good. I got a handful, I'll take those back to Colorado. All right, I'm gonna do the best I can with this other lens and the lack of lighting. All right, okay, we're back at the Airbnb. As you can see, the light is just terrible as far as for filming. So I brought the gold inside, I got it a little bit cleaned up, and I am just super surprised at the amount of gold that was in there. I would say there's probably close to 0.1 grams in there out of one little bucket. But now you gotta remember guys, that's coming directly out of like an untouched quartz, oxidized quartz vein, right in the middle of the Australian gold fields here. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing this. This video was actually kind of a spur of the moment thing and FAMO59 came through and put me on the right spot. So thanks a lot, Tony, I appreciate it. Make sure you go check out his YouTube channel right here. Let them know I sent you. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.